Hey, this is Mo with Smokes, and today we're going to be unboxing the Moza Breeze Pro. So the Moza Breeze Pro is the sequel slash follow-up to the wildly popular Moza Breeze 2, which was a follow-up to the kind of mildly popular Moza Breeze 1, but a lot of people consider the Breeze 2 pretty much the ideal shisha in terms of size, in, term, in terms of draw, in terms of looks, and the Breeze Pro has a lot to live up to. So what we're going to do is we're going to unbox it, put it together, and then we're going to try it out and see what it smokes like. All right, so let's get to it. Um, here's the box of the Moza Breeze Pro. So it looks like on the sides. On the back, it actually tells you what color it's gonna be. So wavy line blue. They have wavy line mint, yellow, pink, frosted. And then they have this new line called candy line. And they have blue, yellow, gray, white, purple, green, light blue, pink, and red, purple. If the, uh, the Pro on the front of the box didn't give you Apple vibes, I don't know what will, but the way this box is designed, you're definitely gonna feel it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna see is a piece of paper. It says, may we introduce you to our pro. And then on the back, all right, so the message says, we are pleased that you have chosen the Breeze Pro. You can expect technical enhancements such as the new bowl purge system, which protects your bowl from overheating and the new variable blow off system, which now allows you to change the blow off even while smoking. In addition, you can expect completely new sleeves, a revised mouthpiece, as well as a stainless steel base in the standard version. To view the assembly instructions of the Breeze Pro, you can scan the QR code with your cell phone and then there's a QR code. All right, so top layer, we have trays. So here we have two trays. We have the big tray and it looks kind of similar to the Breeze 2, except it has the shapes on the inside now which we'll talk about later open up the next tray and this is the small tray and you can see on the side it's like laser engraved it says breeze pro and then it has that design from the breeze tube so here this is the bottom of the hose handle i think yeah and then this is the sleeve for the hose handle looks like that so here's the heart it's stainless steel the breeze 2 was almost perfect for me. I did have a couple of small recommendations and one of them was that it would come standard with a stainless steel heart. They obviously made a Breeze 2 accessory stainless steel heart, but it was always sold out. So not a lot of people had it. So the Breeze Pro comes with a stainless steel heart standard. And then here's this button that says purge bowl. So if you hold it down while you're purging, it's supposed to purge from your bowl. I don't know how that's going to work, but we'll see. And then at the bottom here, there's this, there's this nozzle that has a purge ball in it that's connected to the bottom of the, the bowl purge and then go down to the next layer so here we have the brand new sleeve now the sleeve looks the same but as you can see from the top there's this like there's these four indents and then on the bottom it looks like a plus sign or like a directional pad from a controller and it looks like that about the same size but just to compare it this is actually a sleeve from the breeze 2 and then this is a sleeve from the breeze pro so if we put them side by side we see that the one from the pro is a little bit longer and possibly a little bit wider but obviously the key difference here is the top and the bottom completely different shapes so you won't be able to use the sleeves that you have for your breeze 2 but you'll be able to get similar looking sleeves for the pro all right so we have the diffuser and then i think this should be the rest of the, yeah. So this is the rest of the hose handle. So just screw that in. And it's a tiny hose handle, like very small. Like, I know that they have an extension for this that makes it regular size, as opposed to, I guess this is, I don't know what this is, travel size maybe. I, I guess this works for like people's smaller hands. I, I don't know, I want a longer handle though. All right, so there's another grommet here. There was a grommet actually on the heart already. This one said size one. This one says size two, so it's a different size base grommet. Here we have the hose adapter. The hose adapter just goes into the heart like this. All right, here we have the top stem. And it's kind of interesting because the top stem actually has an O-ring right there. I think you can, yeah, you can roll it on and off. It's actually in an indent on the top stem. So here we have the, the bowl adapter, and I do wanna point out, it comes with a grommet, but that's not what I wanna point out. So if you take the grommet off and you twist this, this comes off. Just remember that for later. And for the record, it did not come off that easily the first time that I tried to do this. Uh, I don't know if it was like the travel or what it was, but it was a lot harder to get off. Now it's easier to get off, so just be careful. Now we have this piece that Noda does, I don't know what it's called. We're just gonna call it a purge modifier. Then we have this other piece that looks like it's straight out of Indiana Jones, which we're also gonna call a purge modifier. Notice that this shape right here matches this shape right here, but it actually goes on the top here. See that? And then same thing with this one goes on here. We'll talk about it in the assembly though, because there's a very specific way this has to be put together. Now we have this piece, which is one of the tray elements. 
We had this spring that completely threw me for a loop, but this is this belongs here, and we'll talk about where that goes. And then we have this baggie that has extra O-rings, and it also has extra purge balls. So there's uh, five clear purge balls, one metal purge ball, and one plastic purge ball. And of these five, four of them are actually going into the heart, um, and it's the four clear ones, and we'll put that aside for now. So everything on this layer. All right, now we have the down stem. Finally, we get to the down stem. Down stem, heart, we'll talk about that when we put it together, which is very shortly. And then finally, we have the base. Uh, the base is actually a similar shape to the Verity. So you can see here, it like kind of caves in at the bottom, it's thicker on the side. All right, so let's get to assembly. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the heart and we're actually gonna grab the down stem and we're just gonna screw the down stem into the bottom of the heart like so. And I do want to point out that this gets loose, so make sure that you always tighten this up. Now we're going to grab the diffuser. You can either have it off by screwing it in like this, or you can have it on by screwing it on like this. So whatever your preference is, that's how you uh, assemble the diffuser. Now we're just going to put the heart into the base. Now we're going to grab this baggie that has the purge balls in it, and we're just going to get four of the clear purge balls out and we're gonna put them in, hopefully without dropping any. One, two, three, four. So those are all in there, perfect. Now we're gonna grab the top stem and we're gonna grab this piece right here. On this piece, there's a notch right there. It looks like a little pin, you can see that. Now, when you screw this in like this, so you're gonna screw the top stem into this purge modifier, screw it in all the way, and then you're gonna screw this into the heart. All right, so the reason I'm pointing out the notch is the notch is right here right now. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the sleeve. On the sleeve, there's also a little notch right there. I purposely didn't cut my nails for this video so I could point to this stuff. I'm gonna go clip them right after this, but that's the notch right there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna note where the notch is right here. Note where the notch is here. You're gonna line them up. You're gonna push all the way down, make sure it clicks. And then you're gonna try it out. And yep, it's exactly where it's supposed to be. It's locking back and forth. Now next what you're gonna do is you are going to grab this piece that looks like Indiana Jones. Interestingly enough, there's a notch on the sleeve right here. And then there's also a notch here. Right under my nail, there's a notch. On the sleeve, it's right here. It's the only part that's sticking up. So here, you're gonna line this up again. You're gonna make sure it's on there all the way. Push down. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the tray, the bottom tray, and you're just gonna drop this on there and make sure this lines up. So there's really no wrong way to do it. There we go, now the tray's on there. Now what you're gonna do is take the bowl adapter, unscrew this ring, Take that off. You're gonna take this piece, you're gonna put it down like this, and then you're gonna take the spring and put the spring on top of it like so. All right, so you got that. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the bowl adapter, you're gonna put the tray on it, and then you're gonna lock it in like so. So see how that looks right there? That's secure now. And then you're just gonna take this, you see how there's an indent at the bottom? And you're just gonna put that down and screw it in. Make sure that's nice and secure. And now you can put the bowl grommet on. And now we're gonna put water in the base, pack a bowl, and let's try it out. All right, so we're back. We have a bowl pack. We have water in our base. We have a handle. We have a hose. We should put this part together. Just push that in there. And then that should be good and then grab the handle, push the handle into the hose. Little baby handle. And yes, it is a small travel sized handle. Let's see how it smokes. All right, so it's still starting up. I gotta say though, I've smoked this a few times now. The draw is almost identical to the Moza Breeze 2. Like if you have the Breeze 2, you know it's like a, What? 
the draw is almost identical to the Breeze 2. So if you have the Breeze 2, you know that it's more of a, it's not open, like it's not open open, like it's not airy, but it's not neutral. I called it open neutral, neutral open. I don't know if that's a term, but like on a scale of one to 10, the draw is like a four. One being breathing, 10 being drinking boba out of a straw. This is a four and it's only a four because there's a provost on there. With an Anmo or a Lotus or anything like that, it actually goes to a three. So somewhere between a three and a four on a scale of one to 10. So again, not super open, like open-ish, I guess I would say. All right, let's, uh, let's see if it's ready. not quite ready but i do want to test out some of these purges so let's talk about the purge system the purge system is made in a way where you can actually turn the sleeve left or right or you can turn the tray left or right so here it's actually stopping at each of the notches which is why it was important to line up the notches i don't know what configuration it's on right now so let's see what the purge looks like All right, so that's that tray purge that you're used to seeing from the Breeze 2. It was beautiful, everybody loved it. Now if we move the tray over all the way to where the notch stops it. Now it's coming up from the heart. And then if you move this over here to the right, Now it's coming down from the bottom of the tray. So here you have it going up, here you have it going down, and here you have it to the tray. All right, so let's test out a combination. So we have the sleeve in the middle, we have the tray in the middle. All right, so that's like in a non-locked position. So again, if we lock the tray at the top there, comes up from the tray. And again, if we lock the tray all the way to the left, we have it up. All right, now let's talk about, I guess, my cons for the Breeze 2. I had a couple of cons for the Breeze 2, and the first one was that the heart that the Breeze 2 came with was plastic. It was the poly whatever blend plastic, like that hardened plastic that a lot of shishas use. I said I wish it came with a stainless steel heart. They released it as an accessory, but it was always sold out, so you could buy an accessory for the Breeze 2 that gave you a stainless steel heart. That's why my Breeze 2 has a stainless steel heart now. This actually comes with a stainless steel heart standard. The other one that I had was, it was really cool that you could change the purge up, but you had to take it apart every time you want to change the purge up. This makes it to where you just move the tray or move the sleeve and you can change the purge, which is a really cool feature. Now, I will say that there's like a bunch of pieces when you're putting it together and you have to make sure that you put it together properly and you have to make sure all the pieces are dry and all that good stuff. But once it's set up, it looks like this and smoking really well. Let's, let's try it some more. So it's actually at the right temperature now. So what we're going to do is we're going to tilt our lid on our provost. This one actually gives us a good chance to try out this button. So this button is supposed to purge from the bowl to cool off the bowl a little bit. So if you're smoking and the bowl is too hot, You're supposed to be able to push this button. And it's actually coming up from the bowl and purging. So let's see. It cooled off the bowl. All right, so I'm gonna play with that a little bit more in the coming days, weeks, to see how much of a difference it actually makes. But let me see if I can actually show you what it looks like when you purge from the bowl. So there you're cooling off your bowl, basically. Put this back on.
and it cooled off the bowl. All right, that's pretty cool. All right, so we saw the features, we saw that it comes with a stainless steel heart, we saw that you can change the purge from the sleeve or from the tray, we saw the button that cools off your bowl. The Breeze Pro drops on April 14th worldwide, so you'll be able to get it off Moses' website, and the link is gonna be in the description. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm just gonna smoke for a little bit.